Here it is, the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD, fully redesigned for the new model year. And in today's Vehicle Visionary video, we're gonna answer the question, did Chevrolet make the right changes to this truck? Now keep in mind, there are a lot of changes here, but they're only available on the LT trim level and above. So just so you know, when you go truck shopping for the 2024 model year, that that's the case here. One of the changes is that the 6.6 .6 gas and diesel engines are now exclusively paired to the Allison 10-speed automatic transmission. The diesel version is now making more horsepower and torque than it did in the past, and there are new and or improved trailering technology features that you will find to help you when it comes to hauling whatever it is you haul from point A to point B. And we'll start here with the front end, as a lot of the change you're gonna see exterior-wise comes right here with the redesign basically of everything here. The grill, more aggressive looking. You're gonna notice some differences here with the bumper design. Gonna have our fog lights right down here. Still gonna have those tow hooks for when the Fords, the Rams, the Nissans, anything, any other truck, whether it's full size or this type of truck, a heavy duty truck, whatever, is stuck in the mud, the snow, the sand, whatever the case may be, you're going to be ready to pull them out. They'll know to come right up and just hitch up to those tow hooks and be ready to go. We're gonna have the functional scoop right here for the hood that hasn't really changed, but still a very aggressive looking hood as we've seen in the past. We'll work our way around here to the side view mirrors. A lot of you like to know, are the turn signal indicators built in? Yes, they are. We've got that really DOT required lighting on the top of the cab because of its size, the truck size, that is required. But it also looks stylish at the same time. The Z71 logo for this particular truck, obviously. And we're gonna have our trailering or towing mirrors right here. Let's see if we can show you a little bit of functionality with that. All I'm doing is pushing the button right here. Nothing's really changed in that area for 2024, but just so you can see what's there, we can also extend those. I don't know if it's gonna let me do that right now, but it is what it is. These do obviously extend as the trailering mirrors and we'll go ahead and finish our tour of the exterior real quick here. Going to have the passive entry right here, only on the front doors, but that will unlock all four doors or lock all four doors at the same time when you have the remote on your person. Gonna still have that nice convenient step right here built into the bed on this particular model. You can opt for the power side steps that have the button where you can just push it with your foot and it comes back and you can use that for the same thing as well to basically get up into the bed. If you just need something out of the front, well, it makes gaining access to that area much easier without having to actually hop all the way in. An overall nice aggressive look as the truck should have. I'm gonna still have those nice looking taillights back here, Silverado logo. And I do like the fact that this is not the body color. The Chevrolet logo is not body color back here. That definitely makes a difference. Still gonna have those very nice corner steps, the bumper steps right here. Plenty of area for sure-footedness when hopping in and out of the bed. Just gives a little bit more of a safety feature right there and maybe some peace of mind. Under the hood of this particular truck is the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine. It's gonna make 470 horsepower, but check out the increase on the torque, up to 975 foot-pounds. And like I said earlier, mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. But what exactly does that equate to when it comes to towing and hauling. When it comes to trailering, towing, you can tow up to 26,000 pounds and the payload will come in at a max of 3,411 pounds. A very versatile truck in a multitude of ways. Obviously, you're gonna have the bumper step to help get in and out very easily. The power tailgate, we'll hit the button right there to let that come down. Very easy to use. You can see it's already ready to receive everything for the fifth wheel or the gooseneck. And then we're gonna have a total of 12 tie downs here. Three in the front, three in the rear on both sides. And you can see all of your connections are here. No major changes in this particular area of the truck. Not that there really needed to be any, but we do have the power outlet right there. And you're still gonna have the in-bed LED lighting that's angled towards the front of the bed to help things out as far as getting everything nice and well lit and check this out just push the button right there if i had the remote i would do that too 
but the tailgate not only is power in coming down let me see if i can give you a better view of that i'm going to show you what i did here all i'm going to do is go down here and just hold the button just push the button again in fact i just pushed it one time the tailgate goes back up so that definitely makes for ease and convenience now we're working our way closer to where the biggest changes are which is going to be in the front seat but let's give the back seat it's due first what are your rear seat passengers going to find well quite a bit the nice large door bins back here big trucks need big snacks big drinks everything will fit back here soft touch materials it is the jet black interior and i still love this feature right here if you ever own one of these trucks you can use this area to store so many more things than you would otherwise. It's just that increase in usage of space. It makes sense. Why not use the seat backs for storage? Obviously on both sides there. And let's see if I can lift that up one-handed. I can. Under seat storage as well. The tools for changing a tire if necessary. Yes, there is a spare tire that comes with this truck. And I like the fact that if you happen to be the person who is the middle seat passenger here in the rear, you don't have a super high transmission tunnel to deal with. So a pretty flat floor for the most part, a little bit of a rise to the transmission tunnel right there, but not too terribly bad. Now this truck does not have a sunroof of any sort. If it were me and I wanted a truck, I would take it this way. I'd rather not have a sunroof anyway, but I know a lot of you like a panoramic sunroof, but not going to see that for 2024 i hate to say that but it is what it is then we're going to have again the same setup back here we've had in the past we're going to have the dual air conditioning vents a couple of usb options and the power outlet right there and then we'll go right here last but not least going to have the fold down armrest with the cup holders built in nobody's going to go thirsty plenty of areas for drinks to be stored whether it's in the door bins or right here in the fold down armrest also going to have the power sliding rear window and taking a look in through the passenger side door into the front seat area I'm going to continue with those nice large door bins area door bin areas two different drink holders right there i guess that means you could just drink two different styles of drinks or mix them together or whatever you want to do put your snacks back here more of the soft touch materials right there for the armrest when you put your arm up there it feels more comfortable than it does if you push down on it like that i don't know why a lot of us do that but it is what we do in the car review industry but you can see a very clean somewhat minimalistic door panel here but it looks good it gets the job done the z71 logo here part of these rubber floor mats right here definitely what you would need with a truck like this because well it's probably going to be out in the mud and the dirt a lot power adjustable driver's seat but a manually adjustable passenger seat but all comfortable here these are cloth seats on this particular trim level and we'll use the grab handle to hop up inside and take a look at what we have here as far as the lower glove box and the upper glove box hit the button right there you can use this area as well and see what all is here but you can see the biggest changes the design of the dashboard you can see that you have the new 13.4 inch touchscreen there it's going to have google integration so you can use voice commands on everything possible there and then the dual zone climate control all the controls for everything there the heated and the ventilated seats more connectivity and a nice large area of space right here and we do have a nice large console with a couple of drink holder options storage for whatever and we'll open it this area up just to see what's going on inside there quite a bit of space but something you don't see very often in trucks these days seating for six so there's that third seat in the front seat area and even more space underneath the seat so again chevrolet making good use of the space right here this area is actually lockable there's a lock on the front let's see if i can get out of here and give you a good view of that that is rather high up there without the steps there we go hopefully you can see that it is lockable if you want to do that and by the way there is still all of the different lighting around the truck that you may or may not know about the lighting here in the mirrors you're also going to find some extra lighting here on the rear of the tailgate to help out with things that's going to be this light right here as well as the cab light up there let's see we also did turn on the in bed, in bed LED lighting in bed. Let's not do that with tongue twisting. Now, looking at more changes right here, we're going to find that everything has changed as far as the location of everything for the headlights, the mode selector, all of that 
is there now completely redesigned on the dashboard. So let's hop inside and take a closer look. Well, before we do that, just in case you're wondering, yes, there are changes here with the door panel as well, as far as just a little bit of the design and where things are located. Not a lot going on there, but what you will find here is the nice, if I can give you a good shot of it, instrument cluster and center screen graphics. So you've got that 13.4 inch screen right there. A lot going on. It looks nice, it looks modern. And then we also have the digital instrument cluster. Kind of limited on what I can show you here since we're at the Chicago Auto Show today. But I promise we'll get our hands on one of these in, near, in the near future at Red River Chevrolet down in Bossier City, Louisiana. The nice steering wheel. Everything looks nice and aggressive as it should for a truck like this. And you can see all of your one-touch buttons right here and everything that you ultimately have. This area right here, as it is, is really meant to kind of just rest your wrist up there to use the center screen. Kind of an interesting thing, but for some people that might be usable. So tell me down in the comments what you think. Did Chevrolet make the right changes to the 2023 Silverado HD? Now, if you go with the Dooley, you can actually tow up to 36,000 pounds when properly equipped. So if this isn't enough for you, you can go that direction or even bigger if you would like to. But in this case, this is what we're looking at today. So tell me what you think, tell me what your answer is, and tell me why you answered the way that you did. Got to give you a special thanks for giving me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn about other vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.